I'm Lippy, I'm 26, I'm from Wembley, which is in northwest London. And they're calling me a social influencer, so I'm a social influencer. You already know, man, it's Fleecy Bambino from the Pop Out Boys. I'm 21, I'm from America, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm an urban artist, man, I'm just pushing, trying to get out. Regular. Name Andre, um, 24 years old. I run my own company, a grand platform, also a radio presenter for Represent Radio from Northwest London as well. Hello, my name is Kenny Marcellus. I'm an artist. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm 22 years old. My name is Bola Jen. I'm an artist. I'm from North London. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Hyper from Urban Mischief. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. They like to portray that in like a lot of movies from London I'll, I'll be watching like it's a lot of hood movies like dramas and it's like bare black on black crime going on in it you know fuckery what London movies did you watch I know a show named Top Boy yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that, no, shit, that shit is lit yeah, that's a good one, <laughs> I thought the issue was that he's Backed out the gun on exactly, them. Exactly, but that's that's what they said. But it was a lie. So it means they just shot. Yeah, him. that's mad. You feel me? So that's why it's a mad thing. Not too long ago, what a man. Did they choke? Did the little did boy, they... yeah, the little boy. They choke him in a shot. Yeah, they choke. Did they, they choke? They, they said we believe he he swallowed he swallowed a pack. He swallowed and, drugs. And then he didn't. Uh, the the autopsy came back. He didn't swallow so no yeah, drugs. They just kill it. They're just killing us. What's it um mean to be a black man in New York for you? Harlem, isn't it? Harlem. Paid in full, living the American dream, Brooklyn. Yeah, man. To be a black man in New York, you know, we always ridiculed and basically portrayed like we're gonna do something wrong. Like police say they're scared of us and shit. That's why they shoot us down. Shit like that. Like basically, when we could walk into like a store, a bodega. And you know, people are following us around the bodega thinking we're about to rob something about out the store or something just cause we black and young. You feel me? Like, why the fuck am I gonna steal a 50 cent chips? Like, why am I doing that for? That's that boss man's over here. It's like that over here, man. It's like that over here. Basically, even even with ourselves, like, there's a there's like a bunch of black black teens just like me, you know, who's walking around and just because they see your a black teen, they think of you as a threat, so they try to be a threat before you're you become a threat. So like, say they see you in the street walking, they feel like you're about to do something, they'll dead do something to you first. That's what's going on a lot right now. Are your communities divided over in New York? Like, what's it like? Yeah, like it's really divided to like a bad, bad point. Like, literally, I could be on this block and I can't walk down the block to the next block because they're beefing or some shit like that though like basically it's a big division because we got you know about crips and bloods and, and shit like that like oh so it's not like crip link up and blood link up and anything if you see one a you with red you're shooting my man down we don't, or? We don't color we don't color thing oh uh, yeah same with the color thing in uk the, the color things died didn't it yeah. growing up in brooklyn is it's, it's it's a rough place man but it made me who i am so it's like, I love Brooklyn. I would never want to be from nowhere else. What's the roughest part in London? Well, right now, you wouldn't even know. Like, you know what it is? Everyone thinks they're bad nowadays. Yeah. So it's not even a, like, it's different. You can't even, like, back in the day, you could probably say, yeah, pinpoint a certain areas. But mm, no. now, you know anyone is, can yeah. get it, man. <laughs> say you, you might get caught with a gun, yeah? Like, what, what ordinary hunting? A nine mil or something. How, how long are you not getting in prison? If the clip is full, that's like more more time. You understand what I'm saying? Like if if they find like a a gun with with no bullets, it's like different time. Like it, it depends on how much bullets is in it. Literally, it depends. You're like charged too. Like it and, could be your first attempt, second attempt. Right. Like it depends on if you got priors already. So like if you got priors already, you already got arrested, and then you get caught for a pistol or something, you probably do like two, three years. You see over here, you're getting like, for a hunting, you're getting like yeah, seven, eight. Yeah. eight. From what I know, that like, it's obvious in obviously in America, you lot got guns. Like, it's a lot of it's a lot of gun crime, but over here, it's, it's knife crime that's popular. And obviously, knives are everywhere they're in your kitchens, they're in the supermarket and that. And all these little kids, they get their hands on them, 
and they kill each other. So, like, like, like my brother said before, you could have said like, yeah, certain places in like, like South London or whatever was the roughest, but now everywhere is just kind of the same. Like, so that's how it is out here too. Like with our hoods, like if you basically we have a saying: if you don't, if you ain't from here, don't come here. Like that's that's what we say, basically. So if we don't if we don't know like the area, we don't know the place, we don't try going over there cuz like there be females that be trying to link us, link up with us. <laughs> like yo, dude, line, that's a line right there. <laughs> that's a line. We not we not doing that. You know, we can't can't afford it. <laughs> I can relate, my brother. Can hear that. New York culture. Just a bag of man sitting on the steps. Summertime, just bust the lid off the fire hydrant. All the youth, them just playing in the road. Crack dealers, crackheads, Frank Lucas. Yeah, just a bag of, a bag of badness. New York looks scary. Where would you say is the roughest part of New York, though? At the moment. At the moment. Brooklyn, definitely Brooklyn. Brooklyn is like Chicago. Basically, okay. it's, a, it's a lot of gun crime going around. There's there's niggas with assault rifles out here and fucking <laughs> shotguns and shit. They tried to tell us one time that our murder rate was worse than yours. Boy, the hood in New York, they know it just sounds like it's a lot of violence, a lot of like clubbing, a lot of like drugs, shootings, just, they know, like there's a lot of things you would usually hear from that you come from America, or, like stuff that you'd hear from America. It's that like, New York would be one of those places at the top. How has violence imp impacted you guys' lives? Big impacts, man, it's, it's different still. It's, like, you don't really think. When you used to hear on the news, oh, someone dies, someone dies, it's not really, it don't really impact you until it's someone, someone close to you that die, innit? Mm. So, until one of your friend die, like, but actually die on causes that you can relate to, not dying of illness or like your family member dying of illness or something, but someone, like your brethren actually getting smoked is, is a two different, two different things, really, so. Mm. That shit is real sad because like one of my mans, bro, one of my mans actually got killed and my other mans went to jail for killing somebody for him. So like this shit is just madness out here, man. Growing up in Brooklyn is really difficult, especially if you're a black young, you know, kid, because you're being ridiculed by your own kind and by police at every constant time. And it's just annoying. <laughs> yeah, like the violence. It causes a lot of division, innit? It don't even necessarily have to be a death, innit? You could be in a group of people, a group of friends, when your friend dies, and it's all different. Everyone's on different moods. Mm. And that's when it forms a division. Car, if one of your brethren is just saying, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, it can change his life, and he's jumping off the roads because his brethren died. And then one of the next friends is like, so what, you're not riding for your brethren? Mm. So, that's what causes the division then. Like, oh, my man's fell off. I have to do it by myself. And then one links up with my man and say, oh yeah, we're gonna avenge his death. So it's, it's mad, it's... Mm, and even little, like, little dickhead ones were like, you, could, you might not even have anything to do with anything, but because you're from an area where a man's from that done something to another man from a next area. When you're in a gang in, in New York, in Brooklyn, well, most places in, in the U.S., like, if you're supposed to ride, like, if you don't ride out, like, there's consequences for that shit. So, like, you got to do what you got to do at the end of the day or else it's your, it's your life on the line, you know, because your mans could die and you could have been with him. And then now they, you go back to your gang and they be like, yo, why didn't you do anything? Why are you not dead, too? I think the hood in London is like, it's more, it's, it's, it's serious. So it's, it's a lot of more serious hoods than London than it is in New York, but it's a lot of serious New York hoods, but I, I, I see like how it go down and like the murder rate, the arrest rate, like a lot, it go down in um, London. Like. How did drugs impact the culture in your city? Like what's going on? What type of drugs is out there and all that? Obviously leans here, no? <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say heavily like drug dealing is an option. Like, it's, it's as simple as that, like, it's like, when you're from London, it's an option, it's a way you can go, and it's uh, not, it's not hard to start with you're shutting a little weed by yourself and whatever, so yeah, and that kind of, 
a lot a lot of young people up to big man make money off drugs in london and they'll go out of london how have drugs impacted the culture in your city drugs made hip-hop culture so yeah basically a lot of drug selling came from rappers that sold a lot of drugs and they had to go through a lot of shit to to rap how they rap so i, I could say drugs sparked the hip-hop culture in new york yeah i I wouldn't say that too much though. Like I wouldn't say like it really sparked it, but like it really influenced it a lot. Like lean, codeine. I'm talking weed, about dope and crack weed. and coke. I'm talking about yeah. back in the day. Yeah, like, yeah, back in the days. I'm talking about too, though. yeah, that shit influenced everything. It's like, lean and that now. But no, that's not like. Is that really selling like crack though? Like yeah, it's just people buy it and take crack. it though. Like, crack weren't crack, a nitty like thing back in the day. I know. I know that. You but know, from is it lean? Man, not on, look at the American youth. I know like, he used to, but I don't. Lean, I, don't I don't feel lean as what as crack has changed the world. Crack changed the world. Yeah, nah, I don't yeah, think lean's changed the world. That's because it's here. Like now, they didn't think crack changed the world either. Like future and then my young. These you man, you can't show me a man that's been on lean. For like twenty years or something, you feel me? You can show me a man that's been on crow or that's sniffing. So we don't know what it's gonna have Im uh, impact. Bro. It's gonna have, have on a man. Well. He's mash up, my dog.